Hello everyone! Woohoo! I have a special topic I want to talk to you today. It's about communication. And I want to say this is like the golden rule that a lot of us are missing. When I mention communication, are you thinking how well people communicate with you? Maybe how well you communicate with other people? And sometimes we could have misunderstandings. Maybe people aren't listening to you. I find sometimes when we are communicating, you're, you're kind of wondering, are they really listening to me? <laughs> Does that sound familiar? Yeah. Been there, done that. They always say you have one of these and two of these, and a lot of times we want to use more of this. <laughs> listening listening. But when it comes down to communicating and knowing what the golden rule is, do you know what the golden rule is? Would you like to know what the golden rule is? Are you wanting me to share it with you? <laughs> the golden rule is how well, are you ready for this? Ready to write it down? How well are you communicating with you, with yourself? How well are you communicating with yourself? Have you found yourself in some outbursts? Have you found yourself communicating in an angry state? Have you also been able to communicate when you are just loving life and it feels great? Communicating. It's a big thing. We don't, we don't really think about it as much in regards to how well we communicate with ourselves. This is one of the biggest things I had to overcome. And it was the stories and the dialogue that I created for myself that I identified with. I created an identity around me. And identity is everything along with how well we communicate with ourselves. My disempowering story, well, it has no control over me anymore. And you may be telling yourself a disempowering story. And this is why I want to talk to you about communication today. My name is Cindy Saylor, and I started my coaching business, Saylor's Journey, because it is based off of my journey to help women and individuals to have a better communication with themselves. When we do this, we are able to transform our lives. It's not the only thing I focus on. However, it is the golden rule that I want to share with you. We always think that, wow, the way people talk to me, why do they speak that way? And sometimes we take things personally. But you also want to see how you are communicating with others. Because it may be a direct reflection of how well you are communicating with yourself. There were times there that I was... Actually, it's the phrase, hurt people, hurt people. Yeah. Yeah. I was hurting myself to where the way I was communicating to others was all was in a hurtful way. Because I was frustrated and I was angry and I was upset. And it's because of the story I crafted. And it's because of that narrative that I kept telling myself over and over again. And for some of you, you may not know. I was diagnosed with dyslexia. And the things I heard is that life was going to be difficult and I was going to struggle and life was going to be hard. And, and yes, you know what? They were right because I believed them. And then I crafted a story that I didn't want anyone to find out about. What am I doing? I'm telling that story now. Absolutely. Because I realize that the things we hear and how we process the information could be two different things. 
And then we create this lifestyle, we create this identity, and then we think that that's all that we're meant to be. And I'm here to tell you, you are meant to have so much more in your life. We really want to dive into the story that you're telling yourself. And this is why I do what I do. This is why I do what I do. Utilizing my own experiences to help other individuals overcome and banish their bad beliefs. So that's just a little something about me. And what we want to do today is let's talk about that communication. What type of communication are you having with yourself? There, now, a lot of times when I do my research, they say this is how, uh, this is how people communicate. There are eight different ways to communicate. And what I find interesting is we talk about how we're going to communicate with somebody else or how they may communicate with us. And I want to flip the table and go, how are you communicating with yourself first? That is what's important here. And this is probably something that you haven't heard before. And if you haven't, hallelujah. Or if you've been thinking about it, you're in the right place. And you probably are in the right place if you're going, wow. What an amazing concept, right? So I want to dive into communication styles and how well you're expressing yourself. And a lot of times we can express ourselves verbally or non-verbally. Hand motions, getting very animated. Facial expressions, right? Absolutely. And there are eight different communication styles. And I'm going to go over them with you right now. Eight different communication styles. The first one, assertive. The assertive communication style involves expressing thoughts, feelings, and needs in a clear, direct, respectful manner. Assertive communicators are confident in expressing themselves while also being considerate of others perspectives. The second type of communication style, passive communication. Passive communicators tend to avoid expressing their own thoughts, feelings, and needs. They may prioritize others' needs over their own and may have difficult asserting themselves. This style can lead to misunderstandings and unmet needs. The third communication style, aggressive communication. Aggressive communicators express their thoughts, feelings, and needs in a forceful and often disrespectful manner. This may disregard others' feelings and opinions, prioritize their own needs excessively, and may resort to tactics like yelling or belittling. The fourth communication style. Passive-aggressive communication. This is a combo pack. <laughs> Passive-aggressive. This style involves expressing hostility or resistance indirectly. Passive-aggressive ag communicators may agree to something verbally, but then fail to follow through or undermine the agreement in subtle ways. They may also use sarcasm or backhanded compliments to express their dissatisfaction. The fifth communication style, submissive communication. Submissive communicators tend to defer to others and avoid expressing their own opinions or needs. They may appear overly accommodating and may struggle to assert themselves in social or professional situations. The sixth communication style, manipulative communication. This style involves attempting to control or influence others thoughts, feelings, 
or behaviors for personal gain. Manipulative, manipulative communicators may use deception, guilt tripping, or other tactics to achieve their goals. Communication style number seven. Empathetic communication. Empathetic communicators demonstrate understanding compassion and sensitivity towards others, emotions, and perspectives. They listen actively, validate others' feelings, and strive to create a supportive and nurturing communication environment. Collaborative communication. Collaborative communicators seek to find mutual beneficial solutions by engaging in open dialogue, active listening, and cooperation. They value input from all parties involved and work towards consensus and shared understanding. Really understanding these types of communication styles is going to help you discover how well you're communicating with yourself. Do any of these communication styles sound familiar? Now, they may sound familiar in, the, in regards to how people have spoken to you, how they've communicated to you, and maybe how you've communicated to others. And this is a good place to start to discover your golden rule in regards to how well you communicate with yourself. Understanding these and adapting some of these approaches are will help you in different situations. Here's the thing. We are faced with a lot today. There is a lot going on and we interact, we interact with so many people on a regular basis from the mechanic that fixes our car to the grocery store clerk who checks you out and bags all your stuff to maybe the person who cuts you off on the highway. We are in a constant flow of communication, constant. When you're able to discover the root cause of how you are communicating with yourself, when you are able to communicate better with yourself, you're going to communicate better with those around you that you come in contact each and every day. Now, there's some other forms of communication. The other forms of communication are through email letters, if we write letters anymore, and texting, and social media. <laughs> there are times, there are times when we utilize these other platforms to be able to communicate and get our word out there, the message is still the same. If you're going to be upset in person, most likely you're going to be upset when you send that email. You're going to be upset when you send that text. You will be upset when you're doing a social media post. If indeed you are upset or angry or mad and you're sending out that message, it doesn't matter which platform you're sending it out. It's still a form of communication. And we hear a lot of times people are hiding behind some of these platforms by communicating instead of communicating in one-to-one. -one. Here's the thing. The message is the same because it's the message that is to you, how well you are speaking to yourself. And I want to ask you a question. Not only do I want you to figure out your communication style, all these styles come in handy in certain points in time. They do come in handy. However, you don't just want one type of communication style. You don't want to always be aggressive. You always don't want to be passive. Each of these communication styles, once again, comes in handy. 
But the biggest point that I want to bring home and the question that I want to ask you is how well are you communicating with you, with yourself? And let's make it a two-part question. The second part of this question is, if indeed you are not talking kindly to yourself, if indeed you are speaking unkind to others, are you speaking unkind to yourself? Most likely you're speaking unkind to yourself. Which means, do you want to be on the receiving end of how you are speaking to yourself? If you were to flip the table and have and be on the receiving end of what you're saying to yourself, to others, how would it make you feel? How would it make you feel? Probably not very good. And this is why I feel that it's extremely important that we dive into it all begins with us. Even though there's a lot going on out in the world, it all begins with us. And if, if indeed we want to make the change we want to make in our lives, if we want to transform our lives, if we want to have healthier conversations with our parents, with our grandparents, with our kids, with our spouses, it all begins with having a better communication with yourself. Thank you. These are the eight different types of communication. Assertive, passive, aggressive, whoop, then the combo plate, the passive aggressive, then we have submissive, manipulative, empathetic, collaborative. And I'm gonna say when I go through the, this exercise with myself and I take a look at these different communication styles, I find myself, I am able to communicate each and every one of these, each and every one of these. The ones I prefer to stick with is the empathetic, the collaborative, and sometimes the assertive, just to get my point across. It's very important that we understand that our communication right at this point in time, where you are beginning right now, is a communication style that you have adopted from your influences. We may watch a TV program and think it's funny on how people are aggressively mistreating one another and we think that this is okay behavior. I'm here to say, no, it's not. <laughs> not at all. We want to have better communication. And this is what this little brief moment that I wanted to share with you was to really start getting you to think about how well are you communicating with yourself? And if indeed you want to have better communication and have people communicate better with you, take a look at how well you're communicating with yourself. I am hoping that you got something out of this. I hope it sparked a little fire in you to go, oh, I need to change how I'm communicating. And if you enjoyed this, well, there's going to be a few more coming up. I'm going to share just a few more things in the upcoming days. At the same time, if you want to be on my newsletter, please, by all means, DM me or send me your information. Join me at Sailor's Journey on Facebook. I'm also on LinkedIn at Sailor's Journey. You could also, hey, Instagram. Instagramming, that's what I'm doing. Follow me on the gram. I want you to have all the best tips and tricks to be able to transform your life. This is Cindy Saylor checking out for Sailor's Journey. Thank you once again for being here. If you enjoyed this, please 
leave a message down below. Love to hear your thoughts. You got a question? Send that also. It's all about having better communication. Love to hear from you. Thank you for being here.